NASCAR Elite Series race fans to the highlight reel for the Jackpot 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway on NASCAR 15 Victory Edition on the PlayStation 3 console. I'm going to bring you highlights from the final stage. Here is the start of the final stage here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Green flag in the air. Stage 1 winner, Jordan Green. Stage 2 winner, Tyler McMurder in the 84. Jordan Green's paint job did not successfully load for the event, so that is him in the default black and red uh, Chevrolet right behind the race leader in second, but he's got Alan Richardson in the 74 on the inside battling for that position. Just behind them, it's Eddie Fikes in the, in the black number 9 Chevy. Sean McNutt in the number 31 Chevy making a return to the NASCAR Elite Series. Always shows good speed. And we're rocking and rolling for the final stage. A little bit later in the final stage, Jordan Green would get clear of Alan Richardson and would challenge for the lead on the outside. But there you see in the background, Alan Richardson gets a little bump from Eddie Fikes and around goes the 74 car, he would recover and ride in the 6th position behind these guys. Tyler McMurder gets a little bit loose through 3 and 4. That allows Jordan Green to build some momentum on the outside line and he would take the race lead from the number 84 car. Right here heading into turn 1. Pulls alongside him. Watches the 84 slide on the bottom, clears them down the back straightaway with Eddie Fikes and Sean McNutt right there in tow, running in third and fourth. Jordan Green also won the pole. He's been consistently the fastest car on the racetrack throughout the event. However, he has had challenges for the lead throughout stages one and two by drivers like Daniel Harmon, Tyler McMurder, Eddie Fikes, Sean McNutt, Alan Richardson, and many more. These drivers would begin to spread out a little bit here. Jordan Green would walk away from the drivers running in second and third. And it's a three-car battle for the lead. Daniel Harmon in fourth, Brian Wiggins in the five car, running in fifth. More on them later. Eddie Fikes in the nine was able to get around Tyler McMurder to take the second position. Still early in the final stage. For more information about the NASCAR Elite Series on the PlayStation 3 console, head over to NASCAR.com slash Elite Series to see the full point standings, rules and regulations, past race results, and of course details on how to sign up and become a driver are at the bottom of the home page. The leaders working through lap traffic. Jordan Green still leads the way with Eddie Fikes in second, Tyler McMurder third, Daniel Harmon in fourth. And as you can see, they're having to negotiate their way past the 74 of Alan Richardson, as well as Caitlin Lohr in the 48, brand new paint job for her, former NASCAR X2 Series race winner. Laps later, Daniel Harmon able to use the lap traffic to his advantage. And after Tyler gets loose on the inside, Daniel's able to capitalize on the outside, much like Jordan Green did earlier in the final stage. And he takes the third position. So Tyler going from the lead back to fourth in about 25 laps time. Later on, they're still dealing with cars that are now one lap down. Sean McNutt in the 31 car, one of those drivers. Jordan Green leading the way. Later in 
the race. Tyler McMurder would stay out a little bit longer than some of the other drivers, Jordan Green included, and there you see he pulled over and let Jordan Green go by on the outside. Much fresher tires. And as you can see, Tyler McMurder would finally make his pit stop, being followed down pit road by Caleb Lopez. There's Caitlin Lohr on pit road in the 48 car as well. Top five very spread out at this point. Jordan Green, the leader, Eddie Fikes in second, Tyler McMurder in third, and he's still having to slice and dice his way through the lap traffic. There you see Jerry Ashley in the 15 car, pulls low and gives him plenty of space. Jerry would go on to finish in the 10th position. 14 drivers participated in the event. 10 drivers restarted for the final stage. Four drivers having big problems in stages one and two. A couple of on-track incidents, a couple of connection failures. And it was ten drivers left for the final stage. Here you see heavy damage to the front, the front left portion of the race car for Caitlin Lohr in the 48. Brand new car, very slick black and purple paint job for that number 48. Caitlin would finish in the 8th position with one lap led. Later on in the final stage, a caution would come out. These drivers would line up together and as you can see, Jordan Green, no longer the race leader. Eddie Fikes in the nine, out front. These drivers would come down pit road. There you see, not too much th thoughts about it when it comes to some sort of strategy and getting off strategy and off sequence with the rest of the field. Everybody needs those four fresh tires. Tires are so important here at Las Vegas and everyone was giving up anywhere from a half a second to a second and a half in lap times when they were on old tires. Lined back up, double file for the restart, and the green flag is in the air. Alan Richardson, with a bit of pit strategy, will restart in the second position in the number 74 target Chevy. Oh, and a little bit of contact made between himself and Jordan Green. Jordan would love to get back up there and take the race lead. Pole winner in stage one winner. Taking a higher line, Tyler taking the lower line. A few laps later, you would see that it's a three car breakaway here. You have Tyler Murder in the 84, Jordan Green in the 96, Daniel Harmon in the 62, and the battle is on for fourth on back. Leading the way for that is Alan Richardson, but he's got Eddie Fights and, and Sean McNutt and Brian Wiggins right behind him. Later on, Jordan Green would get a, a great run coming out of turn two. He would get to the inside of Tyler McMurder and retake the race lead for the first time since the, the restart. And now there you see Brian Wiggins is the driver leading the, the second group of cars, running in the fourth position. Tyler trying to power back on the outside to retake the race lead from Jordan Green. Could not quite do it. 
And he also has to play a little bit of defense, having Daniel Harmon in the 62 right behind him. Daniel showing great speed here in the final stage. Brian Wiggins in fourth, Eddie Fikes in fifth. Daniel Harmon would pass Tyler McMurder to take the second position, but another caution has come out here, and these drivers would restart with only 52 laps to go in the race. Jordan Green, Daniel Harmon, Tyler McMurder, Brian Wiggins, Alan Richardson, your top five. The car in between Brian Wiggins and Alan Richardson that you're seeing is Caleb Lopez. His paint job did not successfully load for the broadcast. And he is several laps down in the ninth position. So Alan Richardson right behind him in the red and white number 74 car running in fifth. These drivers coming down pit road for what they would later find out would be the final pit stops that they would make in the race, or at least for some. Final caution in the event, they would be green to the finish after this. A close race off pit road. Tyler McMurder wins it by a bumper over Daniel Harmon. The green flag back in the air. Jordan Green restarting in third. Alan Richards in fourth. Brian Wiggins in fifth in the five. 84 gets a little bit loose, holds on to it, keeps the race lead. Daniel Harmon and Jordan Green side by side for second. Brian Wiggins side by side with Alan Richardson for fourth. Three wide there. Caleb Lopez several laps down, showing good speed, making it interesting, battling up in the, in the region where the top five cars are running. Hard contact for Daniel Harmon coming at a turn two, trying to use every inch of racetrack that he can find, get as much speed and momentum exiting turn two as he can, to perhaps build a charge and build a run on Tyler McMurder and Jordan Green. The two most Winningest drivers in NASCAR history on the NASCAR 15 Victory Edition video game. We're running first and second here in the NASCAR Elite Series race at Las Vegas. It's the Jackpot 400. Everyone doing a great job. All in one solid pack of nine cars. Later on in the race, Jordan Green challenging on the outside for the lead again like he did before. Finding some grip side by side on the front stretch now. Daniel Harmon in tow. Give it a bit of draft to Jordan on the outside. We've seen Daniel prefer the middle to outside line throughout the entire race. And they're both able to slingshot past Tyler in the 84. Put Jordan back out front in the race lead, and Daniel up into the second position. Tyler overdriving three and four a little bit. Gets back in line to where he wants to be because he's got Brian Wiggins and Eddie Fikes running in fourth and fifth, gaining ground. Alan Richardson running in the sixth position. John McNutt running in 7th, Caitlin Lohr running in 8th. Side by side for the lead, Daniel Harmon looking to make a move on the bottom of Jordan Green. Sixty-two showing good speed on the bottom, in the middle, and up top. Sixty-two is handling well everywhere. Daniel made a huge move coming out of turn two, got a little bit loose and wasn't able to hold on to it and stay beside Jordan Green. Green and Harmon having a heck of a battle up here for the win. Brian Wiggins clears Tyler McMurder a few laps later to take the third position and don't count him out. His bread and butter is here on the mile and a halfs. Anywhere from one mile to two miles 
in length. That's where Brian Wiggins in the five will shine. He's admitted several times he's no expert on the short tracks, no expert on the road courses, but take him next to, next to anywhere other than those, and he'll perform. Eddie Fikes in fifth in the nine. Great with these guys. It's a five-car separation here. The six-car in line is Caleb Lopez, several laps down due to an incident earlier in stage one and two. Alan Richardson in the sixth position, about two seconds behind. This battle for third, fourth, and fifth, and the battle for the lead has settled down just a little bit between Jordan Green, Daniel Harmon. A little bit of a, a nudge from Eddie to, to Tyler, the nine and the 84. About to be side-by-side side for the fourth and fifth positions. There goes Eddie Fikes. Jordan Green makes contact with the outside wall coming out of turn two. He loses the lead to Daniel Harmon, drops back to the fourth position. Caleb Lopez just cleared Tyler McMurder. Not a pass for position. Caleb up top in the black and red default card. The one on the bottom is Jordan Green. He made contact with the outside wall a lap ago. And he's going to drop from first to fifth. He might even lose another spot, but this time to Alan Richardson. Alan looking to catapult himself inside the top five. And he does. Clears Jordan Green going into turn one. Apparently se severe damage to the number 96 car, the favorite to win. Brian Wiggins coming down pit road. Jordan Green doing the same. Stay on course for now. Later in the race, Eddie Fikes, Daniel Harmon would have to make a pit stop as well. And that would leave Tyler McMurder and Alan Richardson on the racetrack. Battling for the win here at Las Vegas, gambling to win the jackpot 400. The question is, do they have enough fuel and do they have enough tires to get to the end of the race? The gap staying about the same. Both drivers trying to manage their fuel, manage their equipment. There you see Jordan Green in between both of these drivers. He has already made his pit stop, and we're seeing exactly how, how much stronger fresh tires are here at Las Vegas. He's able to pull right up to these guys and clear them. Keep in mind, these drivers are not running up to full speed. They're trying to manage what fuel and what tires they have left. Tyler reporting over the radio that his right rear is long gone. Alan Richardson reporting on his radio that fuel pressure is dropping. It was one heck of a gamble by both drivers, but in the end it would be Tyler McMurder in the number 84 car capturing his third career NASCAR Elite Series win, gambling here at Las Vegas and coming out on top. Hitting the jackpot, winning the jackpot 400. Alan Richardson earns his best career in NASCAR Elite Series finish, finishing in second. Jordan Green rallies back to third. Eddie Pikes in fourth. Sean McNutt in fifth. Daniel Harmon sixth. Brian Wiggins seventh. Caitlin Lohr in eighth. Caleb Lopez in ninth. Jerry Ashley rounding out the top ten of the 14 drivers entering the event. Thank you very much for joining us for the highlight reel from the Jackpot 400. 
Hit the subscribe button to catch all the action from all 15 of the NASCAR Online Racing League action. From all of us here at NASCAR, we're saying so long, and we will see you next week.